And hello, hello, hello again, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. And we just finished off the Battle of Kotonifuku. Uh, oh, I believe it's pronounced on that. Oh, it's not pronounced on that at all, but you know, you get the general idea. Um, and now we're moving on to the next stage of the campaign. Um, fingers crossed I haven't deleted any of my videos. <laughs> um, I'm getting pretty tired now. I'm not used to your streaming schedule or the uh, recording schedule, but we'll give it a go and keep on going. So we'll move on, see what we're going to get in terms of our bonus stuff. Oof. We'll take one of these and we'll take a free one. Not the best. I had hoped for a slightly better deal at that conference. But hello. It is what it is. Mm. So race to Rostov. Rostov on the Don served as a key connection for the German troops in the Caucasus. If this door was closed, Axis forces south of the Don would be disconnected from the crucial battles about to take place in the Don Bend and Donbass. Though Operation Saturn was truncated to Little Saturn in December, Rostov remained a tantalising prize for the Soviets as German 1st Panzer Army scrambled to extricate themselves from the Caucasus. Hmm. Let's see how that goes. I had hoped the airstrikes now, perhaps. I just bit me in the arse, perhaps I should have uh, got the airstrikes earlier. 1st Panzer Army is undergoing transfer from Army Group A in the Caucasus to the newly formed German Army Group Don. However, in order to do so, it must pass through Rostov. Orders to prevent this from happening. This task will prove most difficult as 4th Panzer Army is conducting a fighting retreat while covering the road to Rostov. So I need Konstantinovskaya and Salsk. And then there's Rostov over here if I can get it. But I doubt I'll be able to get it. We'll give it a go anyway. So how am I going to push through? This road, basically. This road is what will take me to Rostov. I do have to take this little part here uh, with these troops, but I suspect if I can last... Yeah. I may have to direct one tank force over here to deal with these tanks. I've got two tanks here, so if I bring this tank around, I might be able to push to Konstantinovskaya that way. So this tank will probably have to move. I've got Katushkas, that's always good. So let's get rid of the T-34 and give this a Katushka. Um, let's give this another Katushka. And let's give these guys probably the most expensive thing I can give them, which is T-3476. Silver infantry, silver infantry, okay. Give it to this guy. I'd rather give you artillery with more of you. Give it to T70 this guy. What else can I give you guys? I wouldn't mind giving you just artillery. Let's try and punch through, and then we'll take a look at our supplies. So we've got to take this by turn 6 and Sask by turn 7. My aim will be to general punch through, maybe try and encirclement on these guys, and then keep going as far as I can down to south. Now I'm aware that this bridge will be a bit of a nightmare because it's a, over a large lake, so if I can't do any bridge building, which I can't, we're going to have a problem trying to get to south, so I've got to push quick and hard and prevent these guys from drawing. Failing that, I've got to start doing... Oh, what do you mean these guys aren't? I just noticed that. You need to definitely be uh, re-equipped with Soviet infantry. And I'll give you guys an artillery piece. And then these guys will have to try and make a crossing at Konstantinovskaya and break through over here. So I need to break through across this smaller river, open up this route for this tank to come through. Then these tanks can keep punching through on their own. So really what I need to do is take this objective and punch through there. Uh, so two pronged assault. Most of my assault will occur over in this sector. We'll try and punch through to Samosk, uh, and then once we punch through there, we'll try and bring one of our tanks around. Then these guys will just keep pushing down from the south from here. Let's see if that works. Probably not, but you never know. So this is probably the best spot for a crossing. Because I've got artillery here.
It's risky. This tank's going to move over here to begin artillery bombardments. And I'm going to move... I move one down. Yes, that works. So I get, get some artillery strikes on this. Uh, meanwhile, we could start moving. Let's see if we can move down here to... I doubt if this if I suspect this bridge will be damaged, so... I don't really see a point of constantly moving down this way. Mm. I'm a bit lost at the moment. A bit lost on what to do. What are my tanks going to be like? Rear guard. Another rear guard. Yeah, move everything around. The aim here is to cut off these tanks so they can't withdraw and then hopefully that will get me to Rostov. I think the tanks are in a pretty good spot. they got some pretty good artillery, so I hope that will be okay. Draw out that, that's fine. Now we're cooking with that. With that withdrawal, I can move my tank north and get an encirclement here. It's just going to be high risk, high reward. Go, 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 go. Right, repair this bridge. We can do this. Replen. Oh yes, it's so tempting. Manage that. And move everything else we've got to contain. Oh, the infantry, go, 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 we need to get around. I need to move the infantry around so I can start pushing with the tank south, but with that encirclement, we are in such a good spot at the moment just to keep advancing. And trucks available, you are correct, there are trucks available. Fine, fine. We can start moving this forward as well. So far, so good. We're starting to see a heavy retreat from the Germans. I know they keep hitting my more delicate infantry, but I don't care as long as it pins the tanks in place. As long as I can pin the tanks in place, I'm happy, man. It's letting me get into you. That is an extremely successful attack. So with that... Oh, stopped. Stopped. I'll bring this round to destroy this. Mm 
Bring the rest around. If I can just take this one position, we'll be in a good spot. And then move this further down. Let's start doing artillery bombardments on here and hopefully I can punch through. But we'll see, we'll see. If they can dig in, it's fine. I've got tanks up there. It's fine. We're fine. This is fine. Uh, excuse me, you should have plenty of supply here. What on earth are you doing? Uh, that works for me. I can't afford to let them dig in anymore. But I don't think I'm going to have a choice in the matter. You're cut off completely. You're going to start starving anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. No arty power arches? Come on now. Ooh. No, that's too risky trying to flank around that way. It's gonna be, that would be insane. Why can't I use suppressive fire? They're so badly dug in, I literally cannot break these guys. There is one option, but uh, it's so very high risk. So the way I see it, if I cross here and cross here, I can potentially get to south and then circle that way. And I've got supply, so it's possible. It is achievable. It's just such a high risk maneuver. Suddenly, you are resupplied. I'll take the two to one, I'll take the one to one. I just need to break through you. It's not going to be pretty, but I just need to punch through you. Honestly, one to two, even though you're completely out of supply. Interesting. I can't even get around this way. Wow. I could try the river crossing here. Here's an arty strike. All right, let's gather the troops around. Operation Punch through Sousk. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Constant digging in is killing me. This, this AI is just so much better than I'm used to. It's actually thinking and it's not nice. I 
ain't gonna help me. Uh, how do I break into you? I think that's that failed. That's really bad. One breach, that works. Still had a punch through the cell. I can't. I can't get in you. I could start throwing troops at this and see if it sticks, but I'm just going to hemorrhage troops doing this. It worked. It worked. You're you're dead. Uh, sorry about that, but uh, I have sacrificed you for the greater good. Um, for the greater good. Rip the 24th Guards uh, Regiment, or RD. Your sacrifice was not in vain. Okay, dig in, that's fine. You guys can fall back now. And we'll try again of Operation Party Barrage. Absolutely slaughtered. Send in the next human wave. Absolutely slaughtered. South, that's what I'm seeing right here. And I ain't getting lost of now. I I need you to uh, retreat back across the river, but I guess you're just not going to do that. So we yeah, have Oh no, I've been completely halted now. I don't know how I'm going to get through. Can't build any bridges. I'm going to have to redo this. Can't even get to Salsk anymore because of this. I have to restart. Surrender. Yeah, I got stopped because because I was across a large river. I couldn't actually get um, punch through. Um, as soon as those troops reinforce that rear, I just can't cross because I don't have the crossing tools. But it was pretty much uh, GG. GG. Uh, first Panzer Army. I think this time they give me more stuff now that I lost, but uh, I'll try not to use it. So I can't use the sappers, I can use the infantry. Alright, so the mistake I made earlier is I... I don't think I'm going to... See, I was thinking about either punching across here, and then coming down from Rostov. But you can't even do that, because... There's a, there's a big river crossing there, so I need to think rather long and hard about how I'm going to succeed here. 
Tuka. And I just have to RNG it and hope for the best. That's all I can hope for. A nice little RNG. Right, you're going to give me. We're just going to dump RT artillery on this sector. Everything is getting artillery. Everything, everything out to do here. Uh, what else can I give? You yeah, have these are all my points. Oh, the artillery is coming over here. That's every piece of artillery I can get a hold of is getting dumped into the sector. Give that a go. Uh, already up to a bad start because now my tanks can't actually fix that. Move, 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 and move. So this worked last time, so we'll just do that again. And this time we'll repair the bridge. I could try gun it and try and cross here, but I just don't think it's going to work, lads. I just feel like it's just not going to work. I can't use the air attacks, it'd be too... Uh, it would be the soy boy answer to the problem. Not my cup of tea. Okay, what I'm thinking of doing is this time. Still there. These tanks may find their way out. We're going this way. And then we'll try and go to Sal's using that one unit there. Why are these tanks suddenly so crap? You were dominating earlier, now you're just crap. Take it. You're still pretty cut off, but not completely. I'll take it. This is my Hail Mary. Send that tank just as far as I can get it to the east, see if I can get across that river there. No, 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 no. Don't do it. No. Literally being absolutely tag team by the Germans right now. 
can't believe it. I mean, I can't do anything about that. I can maybe move this back round, try and push that back out. This is a really badly done step. What are you doing, step hands on? I need you to cross here, boys, so I'm going to give you an air supply. I'm going to try and encircle this tank. Mm. Yeah, one to one works. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, I can get some life over here. I can live with that. Until that tank's coming around. Yeah, it's probably going to. Fine, this is fine. I can't use the air attacks, it'd be the easy way out. I can't cross, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, you can send the tank down. I can't cross. I don't think I'm taking lost of this scenario. If I had the airstrikes in here, yeah, maybe. Yep, I know. Cut off again. I can't afford these cutoffs. Take it. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Contain the tank. Uh, move out there. Move this round. This is turning into another disaster. I'm just going to have to sacrifice troops on this. That's going to be kind of push. Take it. Oh. You guys really are nasty. Okay. I still think there's going to be a breakthrough here. I can, it, I can try, but I still think I'm going to make it. Fight. We're good, I think. Rostov, I've abandoned Rostov as, an, as a potential avenue to progress. I just don't think I've got the air support or the, my own cards to punch through here. And that river's going to stop me, so I won't be able to get Rostov from there. And 
the, the fight through here is a, such a grinder that I don't really want to keep fighting in that sector. Luckily, I think I've scared the AI. This works, I'll take it. Mon RNG. All right, now we're out. Got lucky there. Let's start moving this tank up north. Start moving this tank up north as well. Good now. Have a T-34. Uh, have some Soviet infantry. We're through, so that's what matters. As long as we're through, that's okay. I get them focused on trying to punch through and north. One, one. Take it. Why are these tanks so disgustingly powerful? Oof. Breached is good. Pressed is good. Fine by me. And that gives us a lot. infantry to stack up and begin artillery barrages. I don't still think don't think we'll get to Rostov, but I'll give it a go. Quite a dynamic battle here, it can go really either way. It's not worth the risk of losing the tanks for Rostov. If I'd wiped those tanks out earlier, then maybe, but now it's just too risky. I need these tanks for later. Nothing. One suppression. Nothing. Anything here. Break through. No.
looking healthier, but I need conservative troops. I need conservative troops, that's all that matters. Because it's a persistent campaign, it's not worth the damage or the risk. There we are. Good, good. That's good, very good. You're not going to retreat, but I don't need you to. I can just keep throwing troops at you. Meat grinder! Okay, that's fine. I've got one turn. Let's see how far I would have gone. Not very far. Close, but no cigar. One turn to Rostov, but no chance. Nah, I mean, it was a weak defence, but I'd have to cross the river and I'd have no way of crossing that river. So, um, yeah, it was pretty much ogre. It's pretty much uh, ogre, sadly. I'm just uh, cleaning my glasses. So, bit of an after action review of that battle. So, it's a very difficult battle because you have this big river that splits your force effectively into two. Meaning that you can't just focus on one punch in one location. You've got to divide your sort of best equipment between the two troops or two forces. Now, if you're quite lucky to start, that's okay. But I feel this battle's got quite RNG because you saw the first scenario. We've got a wonderful encirclement wiped out those German um, tanks and German me motorised and mechanised but then got immediately halted by that bridge because of just fortified troops. Um, but this time we had some bad RNG with this sort of encirclement uh, and then we were able to get lucky with a flank and some um, artillery barrages. So that's one of those levels that if you don't come packing with cards you are really on a 50-50 sort of streak. Um, I suspect you could upgrade your HQs to have river crossings and this, this would just turn the battle into something completely different. So um, if you just brought your tanks over here, brought your HQs up, built a bridge across, you'd get to Rostov, you'd get to Konstantinovka, uh, you'd, you'd be able to basically break through quite easily. So some of those levels that if you had upgraded HQs, it would be a lot easier. Still interesting battle. Um, interesting battle. So yeah. Quite good, quite good. Uh, so we'll go and move on to Kotso next, but this will end the video and then we'll move on next to Kotso. Uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you all uh, later.